thank you for the opportunity to be here in the studio, and thank you for the opportunity to uh, get gospel preaching out on the air. We're very grateful for WTLN and very grateful for our listeners. Um, appreciate their engagement in our ministry, and if you're listening out there, uh, we pray these segments will be a blessing to you. Uh, one of the ways that, as a part of this ministry, we wanted to bless our listeners is by providing a conference that we want to tell you about now. It's May 29th through May 31st. The conference is a, a ministry of Cornerstone Baptist Church entitled our Call for Discernment Conference. And the conference is going to be about protecting children and families from media's menacing dark side. The conference is called A Call to Arms, and you can register at our website, protectthefamily.net. And the reason for the conference is that we've got so many uh, parents, I think, and children who are being influenced today in our culture by media and technology. The, the growth of technology, the advancement of technology has been staggering, and also it's infiltration, if you will, it's advancement into our families, into our homes. And so we see that on one side is a great blessing from God that all the resources we have available at our fingertips. But on the other side, as the Bible says, what uh, God often intends for good, men corrupt for evil. And so we see also a menacing dark side that can cause serious problems in the home. And so we want to have this conference to inform you and also to help give you the tools necessary to protect your children and family. And for that conference, we're very, very blessed to have a guest speaker with with us. His name is Trace Embry, and Trace is the nationally syndicated radio host of License to Parent, and he's also the founder of Shepherds Hill Academy, which is a residential counseling program for troubled teens. We look forward to Trace uh, providing the content of that conference for you. It's going to be extremely good and very blessed to have Trace on the air with us today. How are you doing today, Trace? I am blessed, brother. Uh, we're blessed as well and really looking forward to this conference. Uh, thank you for devoting the time. I know you're a very busy man. We look forward to having you come. And I thought while we were talking on the air, we've got opportunity with our WTLN listeners. I might ask you a question real quick um, and give them some information about what we're going to be discussing at the conference. I know that uh, you've got a lot of experience, uh, many years running Shepherds Hill Academy, which is, uh, again, a residential counseling program for troubled teens. I know that uh, many of the teens that come into your care for that program are coming from homes where because of technology or because of the influence of culture or uh, the company that our kids are keeping, whatever the case may be, that a breakdown has happened in the family where uh, sometimes parents feel ill-equipped or just unable to have any influence with their teen uh, or any influence to make the circumstance better. Uh, tell me about the program that you run there and maybe some experience that you've had with teens that have come into, pro into the program and the success that you've had for uh, helping that family get back to a healthy family environment. Sure. Uh, Shepherd's Hill Academy is a Christ-centered, biblically-based, uh, probably a politically incorrect residential program, <laughs> yes. a therapeutic program for, for troubled teens. And we have kids from all over the country and around the world. Uh, just uh, did our, our uh, three-day weekend here with parents from Brazil, Japan, California, New York. I mean, they're all over the place. And they come to Shepherd's Hill uh, with, with all the issues that, uh, you know, your garden variety uh, teenager who's going to jail or the gray would have. And uh, there's a common uh, denominator in, in, in so many of these kids, uh, which is um, their, their addictions to, um, to digital technology, and, uh, of course, among others. Um, but uh, this is one reason why when a kid comes to live here at Shepherd's Hill for a year, we have a fully accredited junior and senior high school, too, so they're getting their education while they're here. But they're living in the woods with no running water or electricity for a year. Wow. They build their own communities out there. It's like Gilligan's Island in the woods, <laughs> and they work with their hands, their feet and their back, their heads, uh, they're, they're getting their, their critical, constructive, and creative thinking capacities rebuilt so that they can then receive the deeper things of life, the issues of origin, meaning, morality, destiny. Questions that we all have to answer, that, uh, but because these kids are so pleasured into imbecility, uh, they don't really have any margin in their lives to really contemplate these things. And, of course, parents are just as, as busy. Uh, really more in the professional vein rather than, than the entertainment uh, part of things. But uh, the bottom line is, uh, you know, we only have 18 years to raise our kids and, yeah. and train them in the way they should go. But, uh, uh, boy, uh, th those things, uh, like James said, it's like a mist. Uh, our lives are like a mist. 18 years is uh, maybe one quarter, one fifth of our lives. And um, that goes by very, very fast. And we have to ask ourselves, as we talked about before, if we don't train our kids, uh, then somebody else will. And who, who is that someone uh, going to be? 
and that's what we need to determine. Yeah, thank you, brother. Yeah, I know, I know any of our listeners out there would also agree that you just blink your eyes and 18 years is gone, and um, that time with our kids is so precious. But you know, one of the things that uh, impressed me about Shepherd's Hill Academy is just the stark contrast between uh, the living conditions there at Shepherd's Hill uh, without any technology, uh, and often the living conditions that take place in our home where we're technology inundated or technology saturated. You know, what advice might you give to uh, a parent living in a home like that where they, you know, maybe they, they go out to dinner and everyone's on their phone or they're in the home and everyone's in their own room on their own computer. Uh, the family is just disjointed. Um, what general advice might you give to a parent who's in a home like that that is concerned and wants to go in a different direction? Well, they're going to have to decide. Uh, this, they have to be in, intentional about this. They have to come to grips with the fact that uh, it is the problem that it is. And they, and they really do need to get an outside objective uh, opinion from some people to take an assessment of, them, uh, of their family because I think sometimes we're so uh, in the forest we don't see the trees. But yeah. you have to say, hey, listen, you know, at dinner time, you know, we're gonna we're gonna eat together and we're gonna put these things away. We're gonna shut them off. Uh, there'll be a curfew at night uh, when, when these things will be checked in at a, at a particular location. So we're not taking them to bed with us and texting our friends at two in the morning and. Uh, allowing Larry Flint and uh, Hugh Hefner to to come into the privacy of our kids' own bedrooms. Yes. It's ridiculous. We haven't sought, thought through a lot of these things, the implications. And I think first and foremost, uh, until we as parents get our act together with these things, we really can't expect our kids uh, to do uh, to do a better job uh, than they're doing now. And I think uh, that we've, we've bought hook, line, and sinker that our kids should have some of this stuff at all. Uh, uh, for instance, a smartphone. That's an adult toy, folks. Yeah. There is no reason that your kid needs a, a, a smartphone. And I've, I've, I still have a 17-year-old at home. She will not have a smartphone living under my roof, not even if she can pay for it. Uh, we have not thought through the implications of this. Now, this is some radical stuff, and if you come to this conference, you're going to hear some radical stuff because Amen. we have some radical problems in our nation. And, uh, you know, drastic problems uh, require uh, drastic uh, measures to, to, to rectify some of this stuff. You know, we, we've never really in American history had to suffer too much for being Christian. That's right. And I think the time has come where we're going to have uh, uh, to, to struggle a little bit, be ostracized. It, boy, it, it, that's a lot better than getting your head cut off over in the Mideast, yes. isn't it? Yes, yes. Uh, but there's some things that we're going to have, have to do and make an entirely different uh, para a paradigm shift in how we, how we look at parenting today because we're dealing with issues and things that no other uh, parent in human history has had to deal with. That's right. And uh, so consequently, there will be some things uh, to, uh, to balance that out. Uh, as a parent that maybe parents haven't done in human history as well. Yeah, fantastic. And Trey, thank you so much for your time. And we're really looking forward to uh, your expertise at the conference. And so uh, we want to, again, encourage our listeners, uh, please sign up for Call to Arms, Protecting Your Children and Family from Media's Menacing Dark Side, our 2015 Call for Discernment Conference at protectthefamily.net, protectthefamily.net. You can call our offices at 407-971-7685. And Trace, for those families out there that want to get busy investigating this trend, this cultural issue, uh, where can they go to find more information about you and your ministry? Well, we have a, a nationally syndicated radio broadcast, Licensed to Parent. They can go to licensedtoparent.org, licensedtoparent.org. And uh, from there, we can give you some updated information on, on how to deal with some of these different technologies, video games, things like that, uh, hear what the uh, American Academy of Pediatrics is saying about television and the time spent on these things, what it's doing to brain chemistry. Or you can go to shepherdshillacademy.org, shepherdshillacademy.org. And if you don't know how to spell Shepherd's Hill Academy, go to, Lice, or, I'm sorry, go to helpmytroubledteen.org, helpmytroubledteen.org. It'll get you to the same place. Well, thank you, Trace, and thank you to those of you who are listening. We pray that you'd register for the conference at protectthefamily.net. Feel free to call us for more information at 407-971-7685, and we look forward to seeing you May 29th through the 31st at our 2015 Call for Discernment Conference, A Call to Arms. God bless you.